So this video will show you how to assemble a um, little uh, low voltage light made from an MR16 bulb and some parts. Uh, the whole design is on Thingiverse and if you look at the YouTube notes it'll tell you the Thingiverse link or the item number. Um, so it consists of the uh, 3D printed housing and then just whatever base you like to pick it up. Um, so these are the parts uh, that go into making up this uh, little low voltage light. Uh, it starts with a base and then a purchase socket, uh, the case, a cap to go on the top, an LED to put in the light, and a tripod base to attach it to a wall. The details on purchasing the purchase parts are in the write-up on Thingiverse. The first step is to uh, put the socket into the base. So you can see there are um, plastic pins and these make, let's see if we get some light on that, uh, plastic pins and these make uh, heat rivets. We're going to end up heat, heat, heating those to attach the thing. So we put the um, socket in through the holes in the bottom of the base. And line up the holes with the socket and press it down and there it is. So now I'm going to melt down the plastic pins to secure the socket and for this I'm just using an ordinary um, soldering tip and just come in being careful not to touch the outside and melt these guys down and kind of spread the plastic around so that it is against the ceramic on the socket and try to make a nice little cap on it like so we're just making a rivet so now I'll do the other side okay, while I'm doing this I'm kind of pulling a little tension on the wires to make sure the socket is secure against the bottom of the base here okay okay so for the next step we're going to glue the base onto the case uh, you can see that the uh, base has three alignment holes in it and the base has three matching alignment holes so we're going to use a glue and we're just going to line those up and put them together like that The glue we're going to use is um, a slurry made out of bits of scrap plastic and acetone. Uh, the mix is, you just mix them together and let it sit for a few hours and stir it up once in a while to let the acetone dissolve all the plastic. But you end up with a, something about like that. I, I wanted this to be a little bit pasty. You can make it as thin or as, as thick as you like. So all we do is spread that let's see let's actually use a different tip I've got paper down on the desktop here so that we don't mess up the desktop because this is acetone after all uh, so with a q-tip I'm just going to uh, spread some of this stuff around this edge like that I don't want it too thick because it'll squeeze out the sides and I really don't want it squeezed out the sides because then I'll have to sand it off to make it look pretty Okay, so just get a layer on there like that, and then uh, line up our holes, put that together, press. You can see I got a little bit hanging out. I'm not going to try to take that off at this point because it just messes up all the surrounding plastic because the acetone really grabs the plastic pretty quick. But I'm just going to hold that together for just a little while until it sets up. Meanwhile, I'll take the cap. It'd be nice to have a little bench fixture set up that I could drop this into and put a weight on it. So I'll set that aside. So this is how I ended up uh, clamping these parts together instead of using a weight, just a rubber band uh, around the case like that. It does a good job. It takes a little while for this acetone to, in the interior to really cure out. And so I wanted to be able to leave this uh, like that for a couple hours before I move on to the next step. The next step is to install the quarter 20 nut on the inside. This will be what the 
tripod screw attaches to. So you'll need a uh, small bolt and a quarter twenty nut, standard seven sixteenths wrench size. So inside there is a um, recess for the nut. So you line the nut in, up and drop it in. It'll go in part way. You notice it's not below the lip there. That's because the recess has a taper on it. And what you're going to do is use that small bolt to pull the nut uh, down against the taper like so and then um, just tighten it up. You don't want to over tighten it. There we hit the bottom. That's it. Back this out. And now the nut is seated. And that pretty much completes assembly. You uh, drop in a bulb. You can see the pinholes down there and the pinholes on this. You just sort of line them up and press the bulb on. Take the lid and screw it on. That's the whole thing. Uh, bring it over and attach that to your little whatever stand you pick. This is one for buck and a half off of eBay from China. And now you have a complete little um, little light. I'm uh, actually going to paint mine, and so I included in the design files a really simple little 25 or 50 millimeter disc which is the uh, same diameter and the same rim thickness as the LED bulb. And so the idea, I covered this one with blue tape, and you just screw that on and that closes up the cavity. I can get it to uh, seat down in there. Okay, and allows that to close tightly. And then I'll actually run a bolt in from the back side to close up that hole, and we'll put some little blue tape collars on here to protect the wires and then it makes a nice little way that I can spray paint this. So I found that these LEDs in the MR16 form uh, vary quite a lot on their overall length. This is the LED that I designed this fixture to work with. Uh, the information on purchasing is in the notes on the Thingiverse website. Um, what you can see is that this is from the from the front lens is about 39 millimeters and from the front lens to the end of the pins is about 46 millimeters. So you'll find um, LEDs, you have to buy an LED of about that size if you want to use a different one. I've ordered, these are 7 watt LEDs that I started with and inside they actually get quite warm. So uh, I've ordered some 5 watt LEDs to see how they work and they're about the same size and, uh, but they haven't arrived yet so I couldn't include them in this video. Thanks for watching. That uh, concludes our video on how to assemble this light. I hope you enjoy it.